So listen to this. The American Academy of Dermatology says that we all lose, which is exactly what the doctor said, 50 to about 100 hairs every single day. So with that, doctor, can you talk about the difference between loss of hair, like, you know, what she's doing there with the hairbrush, and shedding? Sure. So shedding... Big difference. Yeah, shedding is a common sign or symptom, but it may not necessarily mean that you're losing all your hair all at one time. Shedding can occur when you interrupt the hair growth phase. So, for example, like after childbirth, uh, six That's weeks. exactly what happened Yeah, to so me. six weeks uh, when the hormones crash, oh. hair follicles turn off. You were growing probably beautiful, thick, healthy hair when you no, were pregnant. No, but it was clumps and clumps yeah. and clumps coming off. So what's happening is that during pregnancy, the ratio of the numbers of growing follicles to resting follicles increases. So that means that you have more hairs growing at any time on your scalp when you're pregnant. Then, six to 12 weeks later, when the hormones have crashed, then th that ratio is going to go back to normal. So you could see a lot of shedding. Obviously, okay. shedding occurs, uh, you know, from medications, you know, chemotherapy, and things like that. Trauma, st high stress, general anesthesia. These are all some examples of shedding. But remember that if your shedding is going down, that might mean that your number of hair follicles or healthy follicles is going down too. Mm. So it's not always so good to kind of judge your hair loss by your hair shedding. And that's why we talk about the diagnostics like the hair check tool that we spoke about in the previous segment and also our microscopic uh, magnification and photogra photography of the scalp to see what's happening.